breaking news. Nigerian court nullifies Yoruba activist Sunday Bulls 20 billion naira judgment against secret police DSS. <laughs> well, to me it's not shocking because I believe that anything that is not impossible in Nigeria does not exist on earth. You see this government, there is nothing they can never make possible. That thing they know feel make possible. Now you say that thing not did this life. But in the other way too, I love God so much because the judgment of God is super. Do you know that the court also set aside the judgment that declared the attack on Ibo's house as illegal? Honestly speaking, this is just the height of it all. Our judiciary has been compromised. This is exactly what is happening in Mazin Namdekanu's case. Sonic Bowu is not the first person Nigerian government has visited like this. They visited Mazin Namdekanu home in 2017. Now God now is spent life. That visitation took 20, uh, 28 lives, and that was what led to his parents' death. Today, Nigerian government, they speak English, now they cannot jump bail. But they knew what happened. They wanted to kill him. He ran away. They did not succeed. They also went to Ifani, a Jeffers Mazin Namdekano's lead council. They went to look for him. God spelled him. They killed his uh, PA. They put him in a car, in a Camry, the lawyer's car, and burnt this man with a car. They went to Sunday Bubu's house. Two lives was lost. Twelve of his aides was arrested. The money when they pay for those people head, no they got no. Now so they play while you play while you before they can't they can't release them. Sonic Boo ran for his life. But eventually, though, they got him in Benin Republic. But their plan not come perfect finish because Benin government not play along with Nigerian government. Now, they don't they tell us another thing. Someone will ask, why are all these things happening? These people they are going after are those people who said, no, what you people are doing is not right. We don't want to be with you. Nigeria had never been one. If Nigeria is one, why are you people treating us like this? So if you people are not ready to treat us where we are living, Nigeria, these are the people they are going after. I know very soon they will also notify Mazen Namdi Kano's own too. Well, let's see how it goes. So guys, let's hit the news and get the, the details. The Nigerian Secret Police Department of State Services, DSS, had shortly after the judgment that indicted it approached the appeal court asking it to nullify the judgment. The three-man panel of judges led by Justice Muslim Hassan in his ruling stated that the Oyo State High Court ignored the grant for the case in acquiring jurisdiction and that the judge should not have decided on the award of damages based on his own preference. Justice Ladera Hakintola of Oriot State High Court had on September 17, 2021, while delivering judgments on a fundamental human rights enforcement suit, declared the raid conducted by the Department of State Services on the residents of Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Boo, Sunday Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Boo, in Ibadan as illegal. The court had also ordered the DSS to pay 20 billion naira to Igbo as 
exemplary, and aggravated damages. Akintola had described DSS action as arbitrary aggression and prejudice against Ibu. Sahara reporters had reported that the Soka, Ibadan Oyo State, Nigeria, home of the pro Yoruba self determination activist, was invaded by the men from DSS at about 1.30 a.m. on July 1st, 2021, leading to the arrest of 12 of his eight, while Igbo managed to escape arrest. Following the raid, Igbo sued the federal government and demanded damages. Igbo asked the court to order the respondents to jointly pay him the sum of 500 million had special damages for the damage done to his house and to his car and another 500 billion as exemplary and aggravated damages for breaching his fundamental right with the malicious inventions of his house as well as an another directing the federal government and the other respondent to tender a public apology in two national delays. Igbo filed the application through the lawyer Yomi Aliyu to enforce his fundamental human rights pursuant to Section 33 to 46 of the 1999. I beg your pardon. To Sessions 33 to 46 of the 1999 Constitution as amended and relevant articles of the African Chapter on Human and people's rights. The application was filed on July 22 before the Badon Division of the Oyo State High Court. Igbo also cites on order of the court directing the respondent to return all the items seized from the house. He had listed the items to include 2 million naira cash, 1,000 euros, travel documents including international passport belonging to him and his family members, gold jewelry and wristwatches, two mobile phones and other items yet unknown but which were allegedly cutted away by the SSS. SSS. <laughs> like as I said, that anything that is not possible in Nigeria does not exist. I am dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.